Hi everyone, we're back at the top today for our second motor test. We've got the specialised Turbo Canevo with the Bros Mag motor with 90 newton metres of torque. And last time we tested the Focus Jam Squared with the Bosch CX, so we'll be interested to see how the extra 5 newton metres of torque in the Canevo helps us to get up the hill faster. It's also about half a kilo lighter, so that may help as well. If you enjoy our content, please consider liking and subscribing to stay up to date and help us make some more. And the next part of the video will go straight into the track details, a little bit more about the bike and the motor. Let's talk about the track. It's 200 metres in length, it's got an average gradient of 17.5% and it's 30% gradient at the steepest point. We chose it because it's wide open, it's fairly smooth, it's not too rocky and we're hoping that because of that choice it will draw out the strengths of each individual e-bike motor and it won't be so reliant on rider skill. Let's talk about the Canevo Expert we've been testing. We love riding this bike, we've been enjoying taking it to our local trails and bombing down the hills, attacking the technical features and really hitting things harder than we would usually. In my personal experience, the RockShox box of double crown forks on the front really boosts my confidence. I feel like I can hit the bigger jumps and the bigger gaps and I feel safer and more secure with those on the front of the bike. The 180mm travel front and rear is just excellent for those bigger features and those bigger, bigger impacts compared to the 160 or 150mm travel on your more standard trail based e-bikes. It weighs in at 24.5 kilos which is pretty good considering it's got a 700 watt hour battery. We haven't found that it feels too heavy or not nimble on the trails. When it comes to climbing we thought maybe it wouldn't be as good as some of the other e-bikes we've tested like the 160 or the Focus Jam. But we found it's just as good if not better. It just climbs these hills excellent. The RockShox box of forks on the front I think actually help because it weighs that front wheel down a little bit. So when you come to the steep switchbacks or the steep sections, the front wheel doesn't lift and you can really keep it planted. Very rarely have I ever run into the limit of the turning circle. On extremely technical sections, I've touched the frame once or twice with the little rubber stoppers, but in general riding, I hardly even notice it's a limiting factor. So next, we'll start to talk a bit about the gross motor. So the Turbo Canevo and the Turbo Levo both have the Barros S-Mag motor. So this is what we're really testing in this video. Is this motor better than the Bosch or the future videos, the Shimano or the Rocky Mountain that we're planning to test? If we look at the details here, it offers 410% assistance, 90 newton meters of torque. It weighs 2.9 kilos and peaks at 560 watts. Now if we look at this chart, you can see the Bosch was 340% assistance and 85 newton meters. So according to these specs, the Bros should beat the Bosch up the hill. We'll see if that's true in real life and if, of course, we can get that result or if it surprises us and the Bosch does better. What's nice about the Bros is that all the power modes are fully tunable. So through the Mission Control app, you can tune the power level from zero to 100% and the support level from zero to 100%. And this tuning is very good because it allows you to customize the bike to your needs. So you can have a really low eco if you just want to ride a really long distance uh, and then you can turn up the power in those modes for when you need that power. It also has a great uh, adaptive mode where you can set the range that you want to ride and then the bike will automatically adjust the power to get you that range. So that's a nifty little feature they've got. We found the motor to be smooth and quiet compared with some of the other motors we've tested. Now, I'm calling it deceptively powerful because it doesn't sound as powerful as the Shimano or the Bosch, particularly the Shimano, you ride that E8000 up a steep hill, you really hear it, you sound like it's really working for you. If you're on the Specialized next to it, you can almost not hear the Specialized compared with the Shimano. Okay, on the Canevo, take a couple of deep breaths, ready to do my first lap. Go. <laughs>
There goes the Canevo's first lap. Maybe I'm not that warmed up, but that was hard. So, hope the next one's a bit easier. effort best time yet 106 okay we finished our two runs I'm glad they're over with even though I had 19 Newton meters of torque it was still hard work but I will say that that Bros motor is smooth and quiet we've decided that we're gonna put a leaderboard up at the best time so we're gonna use this tree as that leaderboard so you'll we'll see up here, we got the Bosch CX. Last time we did one minute and 11 seconds. Today the Canevo beat that. Our best time was one minute and six. So a pretty decent improvement uh, for the Canevo. Next, we're gonna put up the times for each run over here. And then as well as the averages that like we did for the Bosch in our last video. And in a few seconds, we're going to show the Bros and the Bosch average times, just so you can see the comparison. And we're looking forward to next week. You may know we tune e-bikes. So next week we've decided to get a standard Shimano E8000 and a fully tuned Shimano E8000 and bring them back up to this hill and put them to the test and see how they compare with both the Bros and the Bosch. If you're enjoying our content, please remember to like and subscribe. <laughs>